New research may have just discovered the most promising way to eliminate microplastics from your body and the solution is as unexpected as it is promising. So in this video we are going to break it all down, what microplastics are, how they sneak into your body and more importantly how to flush them out from your body. Now I just want you to do me a little favor by liking this video and also by leaving a comment down below so that YouTube algorithm can share this video to other viewers who may need this information. Thank you. So what exactly are microplastics? Well, they are minuscule, non-biodegradable plastic fragments less than 5 mm and they arise from the breakdown of everyday objects like your packaging cans, container, your clothing, your bottle water, the plastic bottle water and they also arise from tires and even more. Now these microplastics are no longer just in our environment, they are also making their way into our body. Now microplastics have been detected in the placenta, which means that it can be transferred from mother to baby. It also has been found in the lungs, liver as well as the kidney, which is kind of very very disturbing. But what is even more threatening is that in a recent paper published in Nature Medicine, the researchers also detect this microplastic in the brain. And in fact, the levels of microplastic in the examined brain tissue is about 7 to 30 times higher than in the liver or the kidney. Now, to put this into perspective, they estimate that the amount of plastic shard in the brain could weigh as much as that of a plastic spoon. So just kind of imagine it, your, the plastic in your brain roughly the weight as plastic spoon. That is very, very disturbing. But here is the plot twist. What if I told you the same thing that led this plastic into your body could also be the best shot at flushing it out from your body? And that is your gut. Now, in one study published in the International Journal of Pharmacies, it is a very fascinating study. The researcher found that when rats were given just a single oral dose of microplastics, the plastic were absorbed right directly through their gut lining and the rate of absorption was also dependent on the particle size. Smaller particles move more quickly into the deep tissue. Now this study tells us two things, that our gut is both a gateway for the absorption of microplastic and also a potential feature. But here is the part that might actually give us hope. A study published in Anna Medicine, first of its kind actually, where researchers analyzed participant poop. Now get this, each subject poop that they analyzed tested positive for microplastic and in fact they found about 20 microplastic fragments of various size per 10 grams of stool that they analyzed. Now this study actually offers subtle insight and I think that if we can take advantage of this by supporting our gut, that is going to help our body to move more microplastic from our gut into our stool and less is absorbed by our body. But the real question now is, how do we support this process? How can we strengthen our gut wall so that fewer microplastics sneak in and more is flushed out from our body? Now, if you have a weak, leaky or inflamed gut barrier, it is very much easier for this plastic to pass through and end up in your deep tissues like your brain or your liver. So what we want is a very tight, resilient gut barrier, the one that is going to make it almost impossible for this plastic to pass through and how we can achieve that is by consuming foods like glutamine foods that are rich in glutamine like spinach cabbage bone broth or even supplements glutamine is a very special nutrient for your gut it has for gut says it has maintained the integrity of gut barrier so you should be getting about three to six grams of gl glutamine every single day and that is going to help fix your gut that is going to help maintain the integrity of your gut. Now, aside from glutamine, you also have to be consuming collagen. Collagen is going to help repair your connective tissue in the gut, thereby making it difficult for this plastic to pass through. Now, along with collagen, you have to be taking vitamin D3 as well as omega-3 fatty acid. They are very anti-inflammatory. They are going to help reduce that inflammation in your gut. Now, also you have to be consuming fermented foods, probiotics, because they are going to help balance your gut microbiome. They are going to help introduce friendly bacteria into your gut. And the studies have shown that people who have imbalance in their gut microbiome 
usually have leaky gut. So to prevent that, you have to be eating fermented food. You have to be eating a lot of probiotics as well as prebiotics. So this is going to help maintain your gut. Now, since we know that gut is where this microplastic has been absorbed, the heavier your gut, the more better your body is able to push this microplastic out from your body, the less your body is able to absorb them. So you have to maintain proper gut health and that is by eating all of those foods. And unfortunately, there are everyday ingredients that quietly chip away our gut lining without even realizing. So of course, you have to avoid things with an emulsifier like ice cream, creamy dressing, as well as some plant milk. Now, even though they might seem harmless, they might seem healthy, studies have actually shown that emulsifier like an carboxy methyl cellulose as well as polysorbate 80 can destroy your mucus layer which protects our gut lining and this can make it much easier for our body to absorb this plastic but it doesn't just stop there this emulsifier can also independently trigger inflammatory immune response and this again can affect our gut so you have to avoid things with an emulsifier now along with emulsifier you also have to reduce your stress level you have to avoid over exercising and you also have to avoid processed food. You have to avoid seed oil, you have to avoid refined sugar. All of these can contribute to more inflammation in your body. So the other interesting thing I want to tell you is that plastic, microplastic loves fat. They are fat soluble. So the theory is that these microplastics are hijacking their way into the food we eat, which are delivered to vital organs like the brain and the liver. Because our brain, for example, is made up of fat most of our brain tissue are made up of fat. So these microplastics are making their way into the fat that we eat where they are being delivered into the brain. So that is where you are going to take advantage of this thing called bi-acid sequestration. So bi-acid sequestration is where we use sequestrant to trap this bi-acid, thereby forcing our body to excrete them along with whatever they are carrying, including microplastics. So what you have to do is to start eating foods that are rich in soluble fiber like chia seed, oats, you're going to start eating apple, you're going to start eating flax seed. All of these are going to help bind to this by acid, thereby helping remove some fat and potentially more microplastic from your body. So definitely start eating all of these food. They are very important in moving these toxins from your body into your stool where they are being eliminated from your body. Now, diet low in fiber can slow down your transit time and increase the amount of microplastic that is going to get absorbed in your body. So what you have to do is to increase your fiber intake along with proper hydration and that is going to increase your transit time. So what are other things that can support your gut integrity? Well, some polyphenol rich foods like in berries, like in turmeric, green tea, as well as extra virgin olive oil are also known to support healthy gut function. So you can also start taking all of those, all right? So the key takeaway message here is that microplastics are actually everywhere, including your brain, but your gut may actually be your best defense. So what you can do is to support your gut integrity by eating all of those foods, which I mentioned, glutamine, collagen-rich food, and the rest. And then along with that, you also have to take advantage of by acid sequestration, where you are going to start eating foods like soluble fiber, chia seed, you're going to start eating flax seed, all of these are really going to help improve your gut health. And you also have to avoid things that can offset the gut over exercising, stress, refined sugar, seed oils, all of these can affect your gut. Alright? Thanks for watching.